Welcome back to my bathroom. For today, in this box, we have eight packages of someone else's mail. These packages are lost mail, unclaimed mail, stolen mail. That's not true. Or is it? I'm not sure. For reasons unknown, they were not able to be delivered. I purchased eight of these for $72. Love that for him. Before we get started, make sure you do your tithing, subscribe, click the like button. I'm here for you every, every single Sunday. I'm here for you, okay? I'm also here for you on another side of the internet. If you need help with your hair in the bathroom yourself, DIY tutorials at the Redneck Salon. That's Brittany Lexus hair. You can check that out below. That is once a week, also on random days, helping you become the very best at home hairdresser or you can possibly be. Possibly be. First up. Oh, too bad. I was hoping they wouldn't X out the name. So if in the rare chance you were watching and this was yours, I could just send it back to you. Close your eyes. I'm kind of sweating. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> I literally just yesterday bought one of those portable DVD players. Remember those? Yesterday. What are the odds of that? Wish it was a VHS player, but this will do. Because I already purchased the portable one, this will be on my website for a dollar free shipping, as well as the rest of this stuff. If you see any of this junk, you just can't live without. Check that out. Has a little damage to the box. Let's see how much this is. I'm gonna guess $40. What's your guess? 39.47. I'm thinking about opening up a psychic hotline. You have any questions? Call in. A dollar a minute. But to save you a couple dollars, just go ahead and break up with them, girl. Just go ahead. All right. Let's get into this. Oh, brand new. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my, what a treat. I mean, is it a treat? I feel a little guilty because someone else is missing their DVD player now. Comes with all the color coordinated, color coded cords for the back of the TV. This box is already a 10, 10 out of 10. I have a VHS player though, my mom bought me one. I have Spice Girls on VHS. It's fun to just rewind that, just to take it out and hand crank it. That's when times were really good. We were really living then. We were slow, everything was slow. We had to wait to watch TV and we couldn't just pick out a movie. You had to go drive to the Blockbuster, pick out the movie, wait in line, buy the popcorn, drive back home. Imagine that you had to leave your house, pop in the VHS and if it wasn't rewound, rewind, whatever. If the man sitting at the desk didn't pop it in and rewind it, you got charged a fee. Remember that? Those were the good times. These are great times too. They're just different. It's just too fast for me, but I am a 90 year old at heart. If you get this, let me know the first movie that you're gonna watch. Oh, we have a flat rate here. Oh, wow. We've got some whips and chains, ladies. This is a matte finish chain iron. What are you gonna do with that? Must be for jewelry making. I thought it was one of those plant hanger chains, you know? That's gonna be a beautiful statement necklace. Oh, actually that wouldn't be bad. Chain earrings, if you can do that, you can do that kind of stuff. I'd give it a two. It didn't meet the excitement level. Keep thinking there's something in there like the Christmas card. Where's the money? I don't give a shit about the card. That's it. Oh, another box. Double Dragon! Double Dragon. What is that? Double Dragon plug and play TV video arcade game. Ooh, that sounds like work to me. $35. Looks like it was from the Walmart clearance shelf. Also appears to be pre-owned. Wow, that is some junk right there. That is some straight up junk. I have an old Atari and I think I've got like 80 games. I got it on an estate sale. We can try to play that one day. Double Dragon is a fighting game. There's violence involved. That's it? Oh, that's it. But wait, there's more. What is that? Okay, that's the piece to hold it in place. We'll try it. Oh, it takes batteries. Mm, okay, well, let's try it. Oh, this is from Cupshe. Cupshe, what is that? Is that breast pads? Cupshe. Just add water. Water. Whoa, 
Okay. We have a designed for you. What does that mean? Extra small bottom, cheeky bottom, and an extra small top. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. That is cute. And it doesn't have a snap in the back. I've actually never seen a bikini top, just the top that doesn't have the hook or a tie or something. Cause if you've ever been swimming in the ocean, when the red flag is up, you're not supposed to be swimming and your top falls off. Cause the hook unhooks, that's embarrassing. What is a cup sheet? Okay, so these cup sheets, this is kind of like sheen, but for bikinis. You can get a full bathing suit for $28 around, so that's a good deal. Is that a good deal? Yeah, I guess in these times that's a good deal. Oh, let's try this on. Priority mail. That means it's either over 16 ounces or it's valuable. This one just doesn't look like it's been through the mail system, if you know what I mean. It's really fresh. And I would know, because I use these a lot, because I sell trash on eBay. It doesn't look like it has wear and tear. I guess technically you could say you're selling lost mail and put a label on it and just mark it out, because there's no way to check. Let's have faith in the American people that we are not doing that. A brand new Memorex speaker and case. It protects and plays your tunes. Oh, these are $12. It just looks more expensive than that. So the gimmick is your phone goes in here, you plug it up and it plays your music. Or in my case, audiobooks. I'm really into audiobooks right now. I mean, I love paper books, but when I'm, shit, are you okay? But when I'm driving, I'm listening to an audiobook. Audiobook or corn, I mean, it depends on my mood. So this is cool, definitely not anything I need. It also takes batteries, not included. Four of those triple A's. That's not my favorite, I'm just not an electronic kind of gal. I could just do without them. Feels like some clothes here from the UPS. Oh. We have from Universal Threads. This is a Target brand. Size medium was $18. The green color is, it's green and not personally my style. I'm an athleisure, is that what it's called? Athleisure? I wear gym clothes all the time. One, if I'm invited to a place that requires dressing up, I'm not going, count me out. Two, jeans, for some reason, when the seam hits my leg, the texture makes me feel uncomfortable. I rotate the same five outfits, wash, repeat, wash, repeat. I think I save money that way because I don't keep up with trends. Is this trendy? This looks trendy. You've got a smoker's pocket right here. You could put those Virginia Slim 100s in there. Those Virginia Slimes. This would be a great shirt to wear if you're going to Animal Kingdom. From the USPS, first class return service. Oh, just what I needed. We have a 2T toddler shirt from Cat and Jack. It's a crop top. <laughs> You will probably have to cut me out of this. This is a great spring color. Sets the tone for warmer weather. Not my personal style, but I'd give it an eight. Lastly, from USPS again, there's cat hair on there. You know what that means. This is gonna be the best one. Oh, uh, oh, Bermuda shorts. Cat and Jack again in size medium, but it is spandex. Don't mind, oh, there's no zipper. Don't mind if I do. It's not a fit for me, but I do love the style, especially for kids. This is, Cat and Jack is for kids. Kids don't need to be wearing booty shorts. Wait till you're 18 to wear booty shorts. I'll see some kids out wearing booty shorts. Also wearing Lululemon booty shorts. Is your dad buying you Lululemon? You can look like a hooker for the rest of your life, but while you're little, get your damn Bermuda shorts on. Okay, that's how we do it around here anyway. We're not dressing to impressing, we're dressing to cover up. Remember, pants to the Lord. These are nice, $10. That was fun, was that fun? Yeah, it was fun. But if I didn't have this video going and a way to offload this junk and give it back to you guys, I would feel very bad about this purchase. I don't know why you would have a need for this type of thing. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a big gamble. That's a big risk, right? I think even if you were reselling this, you, I don't think you're gonna make any money back. Cause what are you gonna sell this on eBay for? Like maybe $5? I don't think Cat and Jack is a very sought after brand. The coolest thing was the DVD player. That was a deal. That made me feel like I was winning. The rest of it, feel like I lost a little bit. Feel like I'm at the casino and I'm down. 
These are mid. Is that what they say? Mid. Or is that what they refer to drugs as? These are mediocre. Maybe a gift, a birthday gift. You could just do that. I hate to break it to you, but most people just want money. Anyway, there's our unclaimed mail. Before we depart each other, I want to go over a couple things. I've got an update from last week's video, our hair product. We're going to go over. But before we get into that, it's time for tea talk. For today's tea bag of choice, Harney and Sons Fine Teas. Unique and uncommon. Hot cinnamon sunset. I got this at the Walmart. Smell. The best part is it's those fancy triangular bags. Look at that tea bag. I thought this was gonna taste like absolute garbage trash, zero out of 10, just because hot cinnamon sunset sounds weird, but it is actually surprisingly very tasty. It is black tea, orange peel, natural and artificial. Cinnamon and cloves. I like the tin, very wasteful. Could have just used cardboard. I mean, I'm not gonna recycle it because listen, I watch the truck. I have seen this more than 10 times. The garbage company that picks up the garbage also owns the recycling company. You have to pay extra to get the other garbage container that is for recycling paper, plastics, whatever. The garbage truck will pick up your trash. The claw grabs the trash can, puts it in the trash thing. This is trash, waste, kitchen scraps, garbage, dirty diapers. It's trash. They will immediately after pick up the recycling one and dump it right into the same bin. Maybe that doesn't happen everywhere, but it sure as hell happens in my neighborhood. So much so that the neighbors have complained about it because they're paying extra, paying extra for what? For what? So you can feel like you're helping the earth? You're actually not. To help the earth, we could just be kinder to everybody. That would help the earth a lot more. Energetically, that would help. And in return, we would start doing better things. Am I right? Maybe not. Anyway, this tea is good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I'd give it a seven. It's good while it's cold like it is now. Well, right now it's hot, but it was cold. Yesterday it was like 15 degrees. Now it's hot. Check that out if you're at the Walmart. Now for an update on topic hair, what is it? Building fiber. We went over this last week. If you missed it, why? You spray this on your scalp to make it appear that you have more hair than you do. Last week I rated it, rated it an eight. And that was just for my initial impressions. I'm gonna change that to a 10. I've used this every single day for a week now. And I, I mean, is this my new favorite hair product? I think so. Although it's not new, it's new to me. You just spray it on and I love to use it on the part line. See that? It looks like I have hair. A couple downsides I do wanna talk about since we couldn't get them into them, couldn't get into them in the first video because it was just a, just an initial try on. I didn't have time with the product. The sleeping is an issue. The sleeping, it's a damn mess. It's gonna get all over your pillow. So you either have to wear a bonnet, which we should be doing anyway, remember? Silk bonnet, so our hair doesn't break. Or you need to shampoo your hair before you go to bed. But if you don't shampoo your hair, shampoo your hair it does seem to last about two-ish days before it kind of disappears. The Tresemme hair spray does indeed work better than the hairspray that came with the package. So all you really need is the hair building fiber and the little puffer tool. You don't need that starter kit unless you wanted that scalp applicator grass looking thing. So other than the mess it makes on the pillow, the pillow, well that's a negative. But anyway that's an update from some time I've had to spend with this topics fake hair puffer thing. Big words. Thanks for joining me in this bathroom for the unclaimed lost stolen unpredictable mail mystery box. Don't forget to find me on the other side of the internet Brittany Lexis hair if you're interested in becoming a at-home hairdresser. I'm gonna help you through that and if you complete the whole video series in about a year I'll get you a certificate. Certificate. Why is that word hard? Certificate off of Photoshop that you are now a redneck hairdresser and there's really honestly nothing better than that. Don't forget to just be in the moment. Let's quit being frantic. Let's quit thinking the worst. The glass is not half empty. It's damn near half full. Let's remember that. We maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we get 80 years, 80, 90. Some of us are going to get hundred. If I make it to 80 years on this floating rock, that's a good time. 80 years is really a short span of time. 80, 90, 100, whatever. doesn't matter. It's short. If you really sit down and think about how much we've seen, whatever age you're at, how many people have came and gone, relationship, failures, marriages, divorces, if you're me. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Friends come and go, friends leave, friends die. So many things happen. And in the moment it feels like, oh my God, this is gonna take forever for me to get over. But when you look back, it was just literally a really short period of time. Let's try to take this time and just be in it. Not trying to get out of it. When is this over? And rush things up. Or I'll do this when I leave this man. Or when I have money, I can do this. Like, let's just try to do it now. What is that called? Uh, my therapist used to tell me that because I used to have that problem. It's called like destination addiction or something. I'm not sure if that's correct. But always thinking things are gonna get better when. 
when I make this amount of money, that's when things are gonna be good for me. When I break up with him, my life's gonna get better. When I find a new job, I'll be a better person. Bitch, none of that's happening until you, till you just fix it yourself. Till you use what you got, you figure it out, and you find a way. Anyway, I don't know if that made sense, probably not, but we gotta be in the moment. Enjoy now, and quit rushing time because we're all gonna die. That's the words of wisdom in the bathroom. Be in the moment, use what you got, start now. And the most important one, drive slow. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. I'm not waving this at you. Print just a different. That's what you were gonna mail to someone? That is weird. We gotta try everything three times. It's working, but it's not working. You know what I mean? You fancy. Unclaimed mail. Booty shorts. Double dragon.